instead of. For me, it's a great, great honor to teach in a house where Pablo Casals teached already. Yes, it's a great, yes. And so Barcelona is really a city of music, not only to Casals, but to, the, to everything. Yeah. It's a very sympathetic house, the house itself, you know, with all these nice people here. <laughs> and everybody is so friendly here. And the same seems to be the students. Under themselves, they, they are, seems to be good friends. They come and listen to each other and, and speak after the lessons or during the lessons. And it's a very good level of cello playing here. I had especially yesterday a, a girl playing the Elgar concerto. It was really so much power and wonderful Chopin sonata. It was a yeah, Puerto Rican, a, a lady from Puerto Rico. Wonderful, moving. I was really moved by her playing. And um, we could work on a very high level. Oh, this is really, in German, this is eine Gnade. Uh, it's really a gift, a gift from somewhere <laughs> to be together with these youngsters. Uh, they are so dedicated to music, you know. I just came from Lissabon and there I coached the Gustav Mahler Youth Orchestra. They will come to your city also. It's so amazing, 12 or 14 cellists from many countries. And if I work with them two or three days, they play like one voice. It's all the time, and I do it since 20 years, I think. And all the time they have this high quality. Fantastic. You know, every student is different. If I would give some advice to one, I should not give it to the other one. <laughs> No, no, they are on, on a high level. Oh, it's very, I think, for the youngsters, very interesting to have once a lesson with quite another teacher. It has not to be a better teacher, but different. And, and I try to give them ideas that may, maybe the teachers didn't give. But, of course, sometimes I say the same as the teacher told them before. <laughs> they have very good teachers here in your house.